P3-37 has symmetry and if we want to uh, put it in this orientation we're going to be sketching on the right plane. We're in millimeters and call out is for all fillets and rounds at three millimeters. I uh, only see a, potentially a couple there. I'm not sure kind of the one there and the one there but um, that appears to be the, uh, the only two. Um, We'll see how this one goes. When I've done this one previously, the triangle kind of intersects, but we're not really given a depth, so it either stops at the uh, the face or it goes all the way through. So we have to make that decision on the design. So that's more of a, a be aware of when we uh, when we get to that. So um, the circular face we're given a diameter of 20 and 25 off so that being center line um, the uh, the triangle kind of shows it going linear and the face will be kind of a lip so making the assumption that that's linear and without a depth that it goes all the way through so I'll fly that out of the way we'll open up our new part in millimeter and I'll open up the sketch on the right plane because I know I'm going to utilize that symmetry I'm going to go center line vertical infinite length apply it to the uh, to the origin and then just like to click out and make sure that it did what it was supposed to do um, go related to the origin and so dragging out some distance uh, let's see total is about 60 so maybe we'll pull back a little bit I'm going to use the continuous arc to produce our arc and it's interesting that the uh, the radius was called out 12 and a half in two places but it was pointing to the the one section so I don't know that I would have dimensioned it there but again I'm making the uh, the assumption that um, when it uh, when we make the cut that it is the the true not the um, um, the cutback angle so we'll see uh, see how that plays out all right so 12 and a half on the uh, the radius for a height of 25 uh, from the center line to the circle can make our decision for the uh, the full angle so since this is not a revolve um, prefer to think of it as uh, half angles and full or half half dimensions and full dimensions so 60 on the full dimension and then we have uh, a stack up we're given six so let's see that went back to the center line so I'll hit escape go to six and then we had 12 for the flat all right so that kind of uh, should get us into position uh, for heights then um, well we have an overall of 70 so I can utilize that one to get a sense of where we're at 35 so again just going through process of elimination we built um, built the the geometry back and then I get to the one I've oh, got a midpoint there and I go to apply the 10 and even though the 10 is a dimension on the uh, the piece because the 70 the 35 the 12 and a half all plays in and it does come out to 10 which kind of verifies that I I'm going to get that uh, over defining make uh, dimension driven and if I make it driven it will stay in place um, really what I want to check for is it's not some decimal and rounding kind of thing so going to window pick when I window pick from left to right it's everything inside the window so normally I get the um, the mirror set up to where I can go right to left and include the center line but we will go into the mirror and if you have not selected anything and you window pick or select each of the items they'll show up in the entities to mirror and then the mirror about is the center line so that becomes our axis or our, our, our mirror plane you do want to leave the copy checked one of the 
downsides to unchecking copy is it will reproduce this geometry on the other side, but you lose the dimensions and you lose the relations. So that's always kind of weird if if you turn the copy off. All right, so there's my, my shape. I'm going to uh, include the circle so we can uh, get that cut out. And so that was a radius, or sorry, diameter of 20. And I connected it to the center line. And it is also a 25, so my choice would be to make it um, coincident with the line or horizontal to the points, or if it has the chance that it's going to move, we'll go 25 to that location. And then for the triangle, we'll just build that out. I want to uh, apply symmetry to the endpoints, so select the first point, hold down the control button, select the second point, and then I can make those symmetric so they'll stay about the, uh, the center line. We have a width of 12, and then the two heights are 45 and 15, so I'll put in the 15 first to get it positioned, and then when I zoom out a little bit, to, uh, to select the base, we have the shape. All right, so even though those are shown on the um, on the angle, because the projections are coming straight out and not uh, coming out to the side like it's laying on that surface, we're going to stay as if it's normal to the uh, to the front plane, or in this case, the right plane. <laughs> All right, we're going to extrude this out 90 millimeters. And I do want it to go to the left. It's um, just the way I'm visualizing it. All right, so we need uh, some additional geometry. So on the front plane now, we can go into the sketch, and I'll go from the origin up to the uh, the top to coincidence, and we have an angle of 30 degrees. So we'll pick that front edge, and then. The issue is if I want to include the notch on the uh, the back side, then I need to connect this or I would need to make two closed profiles. So one solution would be to close off the triangle and then to have a rectangle. Or if I want to remain with the open profile, as long as I can set that pencil down and continue all the way through, then that will suffice for the um, cut. So we have 32, and the height, see if I can pick that out, is 15 from the edge up to the top. Okay, and so this is going to be allowable. If I did not have that line connecting the two uh, geometries, this would fail. I cannot have two open profiles. It has to be a single, um, one single profile connected all the way through. Features, extrude cut, um, paying attention to the arrow, direction to cut. We'll go through all both, except, and that gives me the, the geometry. And then since we don't really have a terminating feature and it's not shown, I will give you the option of uh, what to do with uh, this geometry because I included it in the original sketch. Now that's a little bit of an issue. So I don't know where it stops. It doesn't, maybe it stops at this face. Maybe it only goes a little ways in, but without a depth, um, you know, we have to, to make a decision about that. So my tendency would be on the manufacturing is since we're going to have to EDM this shape is preferably I'd be able to drill a hole through and put it on a wire EDM and go around the profile as opposed to having to make a, an electrode and burn out the shape. All right, so manufacturing process, um, thinking through to that, uh, that next level. All right, so 12 millimeter. So there was my blue inference line, but I do not get an existing relation over here. So I'm gonna switch back to my selection. I'll select the center of the circle and control select the origin. Those are horizontal. Now I have horizontal over in the existing relations. 
we have a diameter of 12 and its location is 12 off of the back. Okay, and then again we're not given a depth so the assumption is that it goes all the way through. Alright, so through all cut. So that does look quite a bit different than, uh, than their geometry and um, given that information this would be one of those maybe I want to highlight that uh, we need to verify that those uh, that that triangular shape well first of all is necessary and then second of all how deep it needs to go into the into the end of the object all right so the fillets and rounds so we're kind of since it's not specifically called out and because I did the uh, the split here I'm gonna have to pick both sides go into the fillet add the three millimeters and accept and then we'll have that shape all right so there's my part we'll save this and go on to the next